Hi, and welcome to History From Home, where we teach parents about fun, history-related activities they can do with their children. Today, we're going to be talking about weaving. Weaving was a form of fabric production done by intertwining yarn or thread in a pattern called warp and weft. Now, weaving during John J. French's time period would have been done on a loom. Weaving was important to the French family because John J. French owned a trading post where he traded cloth, which could then be made into clothes. They couldn't run down to Walmart and Target like we can today to purchase. Instead, everything had to be made by hand. Parents, this is a really easy activity. All you need is at least one color of yarn. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. You will need four popsicle sticks that you're then going to make into this frame. Um, it's best to do that with a glue gun to let it dry, but other glues will work just fine, and that's all you need to get started. So we are going to take one of our colors of yarn, and I'm going to pull off a nice chunk of yarn, and just cut the end there. And now I'm going to tie it really close to one corner of my frame. Make sure that knot is good and tight. And now I'm going to wrap it across opposite ends of the frame. You don't want it so close that kids won't be able to weave another piece of yarn through, um, but you want it close enough that it's gonna form a decent piece of material. Now I've got to the end and I'm going to once again tie off. Let me cut this extra piece of yarn and I'm going to just make a knot. And you just want that one secure enough that you can weave another thread through. So we're going to set all this excess yarn to the side and pull off our other color. I want to, again, a decent length of yarn. Cut the end. This can also be done with a plastic sewing needle. This might make the activity easier for some kids. And I'm going to take it. I'm not going to start on the popsicle, but instead on that first thread. And I'm going to work my way weaving my yarn in and out or up and down across the strung yarn. Now during the French's time period, looms were very popular and accessible, so weaving by hand wasn't as popular as it would have been in earlier years. When I get that done, I'm going to just pull the thread all the way across. And I like to go ahead and scooch it up to the top. Now, when I get to the end, once again, I'm not going around the popsicle stick. I'm going around that last piece of yarn. I'm gonna pull it all the way through and start the process again in the other direction. So I just went underneath that yarn. Now I'm going to go over, under, over, under in a repeating pattern all the way across. And once again, pull it through. And I'm going to scooch that thread up and start making it a little bit tighter. Now, as you work through, you will have a design that looks something like this. You want to fill up this frame with material and when you are done, you can cut your material off of your popsicle stick frame and you will have fringe at the end. Uh, that's it for this activity. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time for History From Home.